All right, Gerald W. Bristol, let's do part three of uh, pickup rig up ideas. And uh, so I had one acetylene bottle over there. I usually carry two. That's unusual. I like just having two acetylenes. What you're gonna do with your oxygen bottles. I like carrying ice chest. I like to be able to get to it. And I found two ways you can do your oxygen bottles. Some welders will put them right here beside this toolbox and you'll make a little uh, frame so that one goes here. They're about nine inches, nine and a half inches. Then you slide another one and it will be below this toolbox. So it looks pretty good. It's not sticking up all irregular and crazy like that. Or you could lay one here and another one here. And that would bring you out here like 20 inches. So, And you lay them down in some four inch channel and you build a little four inch channel frame like this. Channel, channel, you don't have to be as long as the bottles. I think a case cylinder is about 59 inches and it's about 66 inches to here from where that weld machine is. So you're gonna have like a six inches with the caps on the bottles right here from the end of this tailgate. What it does, it's gonna open up a space here where the caps are and it's big enough for a vise. So what I did was, here's the auction bottle, here's an auction bottle. Uh, four inch channel, four inch channel, and I put some two inch receiver hitch material in here, just like that, only a little bigger. So I put it between the auction bottles and this frame, tied them together with some one inch square tubing, and then put it down and bolted it to the truck. Then I bolted a vise to that slider, and it would slide out here to the back of the truck or a little further sometimes. Somewhere out in here, I just pull it out like that reel and then push it back in. And there's enough room between the Auction bottles that that'll fit a most standard size vice will fit. Okay uh, Then I built a bridle to go across the top of it out of four inch channel And so I cut a piece of four inch channel however long the two bottles are I would cope them out to saddle on top of the two auction bottles and Then I would weld a bolt here in this framework Cut a hole set that bridle over it tighten the, the nut down and that would hold the bottles to the truck they're never going to jump up when you hit a bump. And that allowed me to have an ice chest back here. The bottles themselves are just the right height for an ice chest to fit right in here. And it's also very close to the same height as these toolboxes. Okay. And you build something off of that bridle framework with some little uh, flat bar. So it doesn't slide off the boxes. There's ways to do that and you'll figure it out. Then what about the, the leads? Well, I put the leads over here and I also had a, had a uh, receiver hitch type deal. I think I had uh, some, some uh, not square, it was more rectangle, right here. And I built a framework that came here, receiver hitch came out and it had an L shape like this. On that, I built two of the old style uh, lead roll-ups, like an oval, like this. You've seen people roll those. I had, a, I had one for the ground, one for the positive, and they were about so wide, you can figure up the wraps for a hundred foot or wherever you want. So I had like this, the leads here. Then I put another little oval here that was big enough for the extension cord and the rheostat. So when I grabbed this thing, it slid out. You can put a little ball bearings in it. It would come out to here, right about here. And then we would unroll it and then I would push it back in. When it was pushed back in, then all of this area here was free to fabricate off of, and I could pull that vise out here to work if I needed to. Worked out really, really well, okay? Really well. I'm Gerald Brister, and we'll do the next part.